Hello guys and welcome back. Zagonur Bastion is on the menu today for many one of the most difficult missions of all, but I think this mission is a bit misunderstood. I mean the wiki page says to defeat the Margonite generals and don't let the bombards be destroyed, etc. But if you check the bonus objective, it talks about the Bastion's defenses. And I don't know why, maybe it's just me, but this wasn't obvious to me. So what is actually considered the defense? I wanted to test it, so I let the enemies capture the Western bombard. And this is all right, you lose one of the six defenses, uh, five of six still remain. Then I went further and let them destroy the gate as well. And then I understood what's going on. It became four of six. So the six defensive things are basically the three bombards and the three gates. And sorry guys if this was known by many, but even after all these years this was new to me. Maybe it will help others as well. So basically in order to beat this mission, we must kill everything that moves while protecting the bombards and the gates. And to be honest, I've always done this mission so that I keep all six defenses intact, but Vicky says only five is enough for the bonus, so I will show you two different ways of completing the mission. The first one is six of six, the classic way, the second one is five of six, which means I will let the enemies destroy the western bombard, but this will actually make things more simple, just wait and you will see. But now the most important question here is what builds to use as a player and what heroes should uh, we bring? I took my vote on the Asa Promise build again, this is perfect to finish off the Cornans and it has knockdown and snare to kill the monks fast and great DPS on a single target. My team is a bit different this time, uh, first of all there is no soul twisting really too. In my opinion the enemy's damage is not that dangerous here, usually a group of four with mostly warriors, rangers, necro and one dedicated healer, uh, for instance the beep necro can take care of it. And also the Asterit and the Minion Masters don't really work well together. Anyway, destroying groups fast is more important in this space uh, than maybe anywhere else in the game. Maybe the Eternal group is on the same level, but to me free E-Surge Mesmers work great. E-Surge and Beep Necro go hand in hand and make sure to bring Bloody's power to your Mesmers. Another great way to slow down the enemies and also increase the team's DPS is a Minion Master or two. I bought an Aura of the Lich MM with Aegis, Prod Spirit and Death Nova, while the other Necro was more DPS oriented with skills like Order of Undeath, Bone Fiends and Barbs. By the way, Barbs is a great way to kill the bosses fast, highly recommended for an MM army like this. And for the 6th slot I have a Glimmering Mark LA, this is just pure damage and it has 4 back, so 3 Mesmers, 3 Necros and 1 LA. And make sure you have at least 2 but even 3 fallbacks because it helps tremendously running from one group to the other group. One more tip, uh, display your Lightbringer title to be more buffed against the Margonites, this helps much as well. Ok, let me show you classic way, talk to Lieutenant Murunda and enter the mission. Now talk to Prince Amtur the Mighty and he will open the portal. And now you have three groups of Fabian guards to control, advised to send all of them to the east gate or to the west gate. Even in hard mode they are capable of defending one bombard on their own, but people usually favor the eastern side because there is less difference in elevation and less damage from the archers. Uh, so send all three groups to the east bombard and now we have to defend only two bombards but the enemies will come from three directions so we must be concentrated because a group or two can escape quite easily. The battlefront is wide, we must rotate the camera all the time and even if capturing a bombard takes like a 30 or 40 seconds for the enemies, you better keep things controlled. The foes are not new, Cornan guards, priests, bowmen and one additional Margonite. If there is a priest, obviously focus on the priest first. Shatter enchantment will take care of shielding hands. Anyway, Mesmers will do a great job, but well timed knockdown from you move like a dwarf can do wonders too. And as you kill more and more foes, the minion army gets stronger and stronger. And once you have like 10 minions, your DPS will be significantly higher and you can kill a group very easily. Try to position yourself in the middle of the central and western bombards line, this way you can probably reach all the incoming patrols and even if you are a bit far from a group you can catch them with a longbow or a flatbow from a great distance. Uh, 
Around after two and a half minutes the bosses shall arrive and I like to stay a bit close to their spawning point so I can immediately spike the monk boss when they spawn. If you have brought barbs, micro it on the boss and it shall die quickly. In the meantime check the other groups too because they will continue their patrol to the bombards. Usually the western bombard gets attacked the most easily because this is less protected and enemies are fairly close to it. I was a bit slow here, but it's fine. Like I said, the cordons can capture the bombard immediately. It takes some time and if you go after them, this bar thing on the screen goes from red to blue again. After the monk boss I like to kill the warrior next, but only if I have the opportunity. I always kill the incoming fools first and take the bombards as priority. And when the time has come, Ugru the warrior boss too, and you can even try to lure him with the bow and keep kill it quickly. Now get the paragon boss groups too and kill them as well. Surprisingly one of the corners, the bowman survived and came to the western bombard. Guess I made a mistake at the warrior boss and didn't kill his group properly. This happens, always double check guys, if the message pops up, go back to the bombard quickly. Now all three bosses and their groups are destroyed, we can go to the last boss. The elementalist is the most dangerous of all, without minions you might wipe here if no ST2 is in your party, but luckily we have frost spirit and minions and they will work as meat shields. First help out the webian guards, they deserve it, did a great job, and then kill the boss and her group as well. You might flag your heroes if you are worried that the boss's invoke lightning kills you, or you can uh, micro frost spirit on some of your heroes, but since minions are everywhere you will be fine. So this is the classic way, 6 of 6 bombards intact, now let's see the alternative way. So I was reading the wiki like I always do when making guides and found some interesting tactics. You do pretty much the same till the first group arrives on the western side. And since the bonus is in indulgent, only 5 of the 6 defenses must stay intact, you can use this out. Let the first group capture the western bombard and when it's gone, kill them. This way when the warrior spawns, he will come down from his original spot to this new location and you can defeat him more easily here. I will speed forward to this moment so bosses have arrived, now let's see what the warrior boss does. He is coming to us, this is great since we can defeat him very easily by also being close to the central bombard. After that the mission gets pretty chill, you can kill all the other bosses very easily and you can get the bonus as well since you will have 5 of the 6 defenses. To be honest this alternative way looked more simply because I was not forced to check all 3 spawn points all the time, I think this is a great little trick if you are having trouble with the mission. I got the same time in both cases, around 7 minutes, and this is how to do Zagonor Bastion easily. Hope you guys enjoyed, good luck and see you next time.